Sir A, three things interfere with Wi-Fi. Wind, microwaves, and little brothers playing Fortnite. Amen to that. <laughs> so I wonder what's going to be after this, because next week's the season finale, because they posted, I think it was Discovery, Street Outlaws, someone posted on one of like the official, official Instagram pages. You can watch the season finale of Street Outlaws America's list, or they said next week's season finale of Street Outlaws America's list, a week early on Discovery+. Plus. So that is going to be over and done with next week, unless they do some like bonus episode where it like, kind of just guys... Maybe I could see them doing something where they just talk about the list, their experience with the list, how they liked it. Most specifically being like the 405 guys, possibly like I could see them doing an extra episode of the 405 guys all just coming together afterwards. That would then kind of set up the next season of the 405 or like maybe not just the 405, the whole list talking. is like, are we going to do this again? Something like that. I wonder if they'll do something like that afterwards is like kind of a break episode in between seasons. But then after that, I have no idea what's coming on next on TV. And I'm looking forward to seeing whatever it is. It could be the all girls show. Could be another season of Memphis. I don't think it'll be farm truck and Asian. Most likely it'll be some Memphis based show, but nevertheless, I'm looking forward to seeing it regardless. Share Jean Hortensia. I apologize if I said your name wrong. Is it true Kai Kelly bought back the showstopper or is his new car still in the works? Now, from what I understand and from what I've been told, Kai Kelly borrowed the showstopper for the first Street Outlaws No Prep Kings race because he was still working on building his new car. Then apparently with his new car, it was going to take longer than expected to finish. So he then bought the showstopper back and the showstopper will be the car he competes with at this current season or in this current season of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings. I understand like the reasoning to wanting to keep spectators at a minimum, but man, you look like the last crazy cash days that happened. Illegal, legit cash days that had all the Street Outlaw guys in it. The pictures of that final, you got the probe and Shane. They're going into oncoming traffic. You got just a horde of people on this starting line. It looks like at a racetrack, the amount of people there. And I understand, like, you don't want people there. It, 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 it makes things more difficult. I completely understand the reasoning to not wanting fans there. But man, does it look cool. You see just, oh, I like, I would just be, if I'm a driver in the race, you're in the finals, rolling up, just, you're on a a legit street out in the middle of nowhere. And there's just a swarm of people around there. And they're there to watch, to watch you race right then and there. I just think that is so cool. And it, when you see the pictures of it, it looks so awesome. Hank the tree man, what are you finding on your quest to a GTO? Where are you at? And do you have any really catching your eye? Well, let me tell you. I had a couple that I was looking at, but the thing is, the one I was eyeing was $4,500 for just a complete rust-free rolling chassis. No windows, no nothing, just the body was there. Already had a 70 GTO fiberglass front clip and hood. Now, I didn't want nor need that part, the ho already hood and front clip that that guy had. But that's what he had with it. That was the one I was thinking about. But I'm like, it doesn't even have windows. I mean, literally nothing. And that's what I want. But the windows was the one thing after thinking about it a little more. I'm like, man, someone had left a comment and said, there's a lot of tiny things. Probably since that car is completely stripped down, no windows, nothing like that. There's gonna be a lot of other things that car is probably missing. And it'll just slowly add up and like, you're 100% right. So I passed on that one. Don't want to really look into that one anymore. And I've just continued to look. And there aren't really any catching my eye right now, to be completely honest. I'm still looking around. I mentioned last week there was someone that emailed Midwest Streetcars. And they forwarded the email to me. Because apparently people send them listings for these cars all the time. And one guy said he had a 6.0 2016 or a 2016 Chevy 6.0 liter engine under the hood, Ford nine inch turbo 400. And I was like, man, that's the exact kind of stuff that I'm looking to put in this car. So I messaged the guy back and he wanted $75,000 for the car. I was like, Hey man, 
Thanks for reaching out. Thanks for sending me a picture of the car, but I'm looking to maybe try and do what you've already done with that car. When you said it had that stuff and I had to reach out regardless, but I wasn't expecting that to be that level of car. So I passed on that one as well. I'm still just looking, haven't found anything yet. I walked out of the gym today and it was like the most peaceful rain I've ever seen in my life. It wasn't misting. It was the, the finest line you could imagine between rain and misting. And it was just like, floating down it was crazy and like man i was all hot and sweaty coming out of the gym i'm like man this is nice that i could deal with this walking out of the gym every morning hell yeah not this freezing cold stuff where i walk out middle of summer it's the middle of june and it's 50 degrees none of that i like this humid gentle rain now this is this was nice this is this is what is so cool i love this right here. Nate said, Jackie, does Chief has a ho have a hog-ass cam in the Pontiac? Then MSR said, I just listened to that episode the other day. People still listen to the Chief and Sean show all the time. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, when Street Outlaws, if it ever comes to a point where it's all said and done, people will look back on that podcast, and that will be the stuff of legends. People love that i love it as well i've probably listened to every episode probably five times because every time in high school when i'd be walking to and from school no i wouldn't ever walk to school walking home from school and then at the beginning of the pandemic i would just go out and walk around and i I just listen to it like people listen to a lot of podcasts and stuff like that's a common thing people do but i always listen to chief and Sean and it got taken down on everything and you had to find it on youtube and listen to it there jackie if you were to build a big tire car would you do a Pontiac as well, or would it be something else? You were just mentioning the Cadillac earlier. It would probably be a CTSV. That'd be cool. Larry Larson's got a ATSV, I think it's called. And I like that car. But the thing is, I like the CTSV body style better. So that'd be even cooler. He knows I don't want to race turbos, though. Be Pro Charger or Screw Blower. Yeah, Larson has an ATSV. That was the first time I heard of an ATSV. When I found out about his car, like I recorded my video and I was going back and I was editing it and I heard myself say ATSV. I'm like, wait, hold up. Did I say that wrong? Am I messing up in the video talking about Larry Larson, one of my favorite drivers, messing up the name, the model of his car? I had to go do the Google search. And apparently, no, ATSV is an actual car. I thought I was at a complete brain malfunction when I was first talking about his car. I see people all the time. Twitch, TikTok, YouTube, people streaming and stuff. And they're streaming. And this is what this stream is like. I'm going to pretend to be the people I'm making fun of right now. AB the Barber, thank you for watching. No, I got, I didn't get Dunkin' Donuts today. I got Starbucks. 454 SS, thank you for watching. Man, my TikTok only got 50 views. It's just boring stuff like that. I'm like, what are these people doing? And these people are like, ah, oh, they... I'm making videos, this and that. It's like, why aren't I blowing up? It's like, well, look at you. You wouldn't even watch the stuff you make yourself. And then people make fun of me for how I am in my videos. I'm like, well, do you want me to be like that? I mean, like, I don't know. I don't understand it. People are weird. You could say I'm weird too. The energy I bring to these videos, that's the most enjoyable part about this. Because it, it's fun. It's so much fun. Like when I see people doing stuff like that, I'm like, I don't know. Come on, bring some life to this. Come on now.